I'm going to take you somewhere else now because what we've been talking about so far is how to improve your um, business, how to pay less tax, how to do uh, things in that direction. Um, I'm a fairly lucky bloke, <coughs> fairly lucky parrot really, uh, because I go right down the middle. Half of me is a licensed insolvency practitioner and the other half of me is a general practitioner. So I get the best of both worlds and uh, that's come in very useful in my life and uh, I can't say I have any complaints. But when we're talking about sources of new work and ways that you can get more work, um, with traditional ways falling down, obviously we have to talk about other sources and insolvency is a big source of legal work uh, for many practitioners and in fact lots of practitioners specialize in that. And lots of firms are known as only insolvency, uh, only insolvency work. So <coughs> as a licensed insolvency practitioner, what do I want from you? How do you gain my attention? How do you get me into a situation where I want to give you even more work? Well, I've set down a few things, and um, hopefully you'll uh, gain some, uh, um, some pointers. I haven't got the pointer, though. I haven't got the pointers. It's on the later. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> OK. So the IP and the solicitor. Well, you have to guess from that one which one's which. Um, I'm five foot six and a half, so you can work it out which one is me. Uh, but you know, I like to think that we are twins, that we can work together, that we are together. And how do people view us? Well, <coughs> do they perceive us, <coughs> pardon me, um, as you know, Mr. Bean, our insolvency uh, practitioners, Mr. Bean, and our solicitors, Perry Mason. 